Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my top five favorite snowboard accessories. These are things I bring up with me on the mountain every single day. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what I think makes some of these accessories so good, what things I think could be improved, and which ones I'm gonna to continue to use or possibly change out throughout the season. So the first accessory, and this is what I carry all my other accessories in, is the Dekine Heli Pro 24 liter backpack. This is actually my third Dekine backpack. And I think the highlight is how like slim fitting it is. So as you're riding around with it on, it's pretty slim to your back. It's not too bulky and it's got all the good straps and everything you need to keep it secure to your body. And I don't usually snowboard with a backpack on. I'll usually stash it somewhere up at the top. But in the times that I do snowboard with a backpack, I'll have some snacks in here, maybe my mid layer and also some water and some tools. So a really good, reliable backpack. And this is my third Dekine Heli Pro. So I have no plans of, of switching backpacks anytime soon. The next snowboard accessory, and this is the one that keeps me safe, is the gyro ledge helmet. This is my first season wearing the gyro ledge and I've been really happy with it. I think the standout is actually this inner liner. The reason it stands out is that it just makes wearing a helmet feel pretty comfortable. And it's also adjustable so that if you need to make your helmet slightly larger or smaller, you can adjust this inner lining. It's got MIPS, which helps to keep you safe the multi-directional impact protection system. So overall, big fan of this helmet and I would highly recommend it. So let's see what we got inside the bag here. This season, the mittens I've been riding are the Volcom Gore-Tex mitts. These are actually a special edition model, but Volcom does sell Gore-Tex mitts. So they're gonna keep your hands relatively warm. They've got the wrist strap, which I think is key for all mitts because I'm always taking my mitts off throughout the day. And they've also got the soft bit of material on the thumb. So if you need to wipe off a GoPro lens or your goggle lens, you can just easily do that with this soft piece of material. So big fan of the Volcom Gore-Tex and to have Gore-Tex mitts is hugely valuable because you wanna keep your hands as dry as possible. Up next, I've got the Oyuki face mask. This is my first time wearing an Oyuki face mask and face masks are pretty straightforward, but the one that stands out on this is that it does have the hinge. So there's a separate kind of stitching for the upper half and lower half. And when I first started wearing the Oyuki mask, I thought it was gonna be too tight, but it's actually loosened up a bit just through wearing it. So something to consider if you have a larger head, uh, maybe check out the black strap face mask. I think they're a fit a bit larger, but the Oyuki one has stretched and now it fits really well. And I'm just a big fan of wearing a face mask. It just keeps your neck and face warm. And on the sunny days helps you to not have to wear so much sunscreen. And then finally, I've got the Anon M4s. So I've actually got mixed feelings on the Anon M4s. So the cool thing is they do come with a second lens and the lens case is pretty nice and it's very easy to switch between lenses. So I think I can even do this with one hand, pop out this lens, pop it out with from the magnets and then easily pop in a different lens. So that's the cool thing about these goggles. They also have a great field of view. My problem with the Anon M4s, the highlight lens is solid. I think it's great for sunny days, but this is my second low light lens. So I've got the Sonar Pink. Before this, I had the Sonar Blue. And the problem with these lenses is that when they get wet, you start to see different colored spots between yellow and blue and purple spots. So I'm not a big fan of the low light lens. I think that the high pink lens for Oakley is probably much better. So that's the one issue I have. But if you're looking for a sunny day lens and something that's really big with a lot of peripheral view, I definitely recommend the M4s, but I may go back to the Oakley line miners after these. And my final accessory, and this is one I really can't live without, is my Burton mid layer. So when I'm coming up the mountain, I almost always bring a mid layer just because I actually don't handle the cold very well. So having a mid layer as the backup is just key so that I can throw this on whenever I need to. 
it keeps me warm. It's got synthetic down, so the material is soft and comfortable. And I've actually had this for two seasons, so it's been pretty durable. And even off the mountain, I wear this mid-layer quite a bit. So something I can't live without for sure is my Burton mid-layer. Awesome guys, so I hope that gives you some ideas if you're looking for snowboard accessories. I'll put links to all these things down in the description if you wanna check them out more. If you guys have any questions about this gear, leave them for me down in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you as well. What are some of your favorite snowboard accessories? If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one soon.